Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video Aquarius we are going to take a look and see what is surrounding you in love for the upcoming days and week. This is a general reading Aqua and if it's resonating with you please feel free to give us a like and if you haven't already done so and you would like to join the Cancer Moon community then be sure to subscribe to the channel. This reading can be good for all Aquarian placements and to the cross watchers you're also welcome feel free to take the messages as they best resonate for you. You can reverse the roles here today otherwise I do highly recommend a personal reading and I am open to taking personal booking so if that's something that you're interested in then all the details on how to work with me and connect with me Aquarius are in the show more section below. All right, we're going to open up the reading by taking a look at your energy first. And we're going to take a look at the energy of the person that you're thinking of dealing with and connecting to in love for the upcoming days and week. I will clarify any cards that I feel I need to. And then towards the end of the reading, Aquarius, we're going to take a look at some last parting messages or advice by using the animal spirit cards. Okay, so spirit angels and guides, please show us the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for the upcoming days and week. Please show us the energy of Aquarius with regards to love for the upcoming days and week. Spirit angels and guides. Okay, first card coming through is the temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse. Um, this is major arcana for Sagittarius. You could be connecting to a Sagittarius at this time. Okay, I do feel Aquarius that, especially with the temperance in reverse, this is telling me here that your emotions are getting the better of you or You've allowed your emotions to get the better of you here. Usually in the upright, you're in control of your emotions or you're tempering your emotions. But in the reverse, it feels like your emotions are getting the best of you. It could be that you're releasing someone here. I mean, I'm doing this reading on the 2nd of August and that is when the full moon is in Aquarius. So you might get this reading on the 2nd or the 3rd of August, depending on whether where you are at in, your, in, in the world. Um, but I'm really drawn to the water in these two cups here. And I feel this full moon in Aquarius, especially it's your sign that it, the full moon is in. I feel like you're releasing someone from your life. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're letting go or you're releasing someone from your life. Tell me more about this temperance energy. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords. That's interesting. I feel like this is you. The Ace of Swords feels victorious to me. It feels like you're having some kind of a breakthrough. Yeah, I feel like you're cutting the cords or cutting the ties with somebody here. Mm. I 
I, I feel with the Ace of Swords, I am hearing double-edged sword here. It's a double-edged sword. I, I feel for some of you, you haven't wanted to do this, but at the same time, you know it has been, it, it, like you know it is in your best interest to release yourself from this energy, from this person. Yeah, you know it's it, it's best because this Eight of Wands is in reverse and I feel like maybe this person or this connection kept you stuck or held you back in some way. I feel like your life wasn't moving forward. There, there was a lack of progress. Mm. There were too many red signs, too many red flags here that were cautioning you. There could have been a lack of communication between you and this person as well especially with the Eight of Wands in reverse, okay? There's no communication, block communication, stuck communication, communication that really isn't going anywhere. Okay, tell us more. Tell us more. Please show us the energy of Aquarius. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay, the Knight of Wands, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person was very inconsistent with you. It feels like you are or you were attracted to this person. But they're coming off inconsistent. They're coming off as someone who was kind of like popping in and out of your life. I feel like this person was making you feel emotional. Or it felt like they were playing with your emotions. Hmm. And I feel with the temperance in reverse, you started to lose patience. Okay, you started to lose pace, patience. Yeah, and I feel like with the four of pentacles here, I feel that you closed yourself off or you are closing yourself off to this person because you don't trust this person you don't feel safe around this person mm. you feel like this person hasn't been honest with you, especially with the Ace of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. You feel like this person hasn't been honest with you about their intentions. Okay, tell us more. Tell us more. Spirit angels and guides, tell us more. Please show us the energy of Aquarius. You've got the Two of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Two of Cups and the Eight of Swords. I'm not going to take these, but... Um, I feel like you had a strong soulmate connection to this person, but this person was holding you back.
this person has been holding you back and I feel like you're finally releasing yourself from this connection. Because Aquarius, you want a relationship with someone who is going to be there, who is going to be consistent, someone who is going to really open themselves up to you. Yeah, not, not with someone um, that is being hot and cold with you. Tell me more, Spirit, tell me more. Please show us the energy of Aquarius with regards to love. Wow, the cards are, yeah, look at that. There's the three of wands in reverse. You're saying to me, Rose, I'm not waiting for this person anymore. Okay, I'm not waiting for this person anymore. There's the Empress. I love this for you. Because this is you finally respecting yourself respecting yourself enough to stop putting yourself in this waiting position the empress knows that she deserves more yeah Yeah, and I feel like you're turning your back on this connection. That's what I feel. I'm just going to put these cards right here. Mm. All right, let's take a look at your person's energy. Yeah, even with the Empress and the Ace of Swords here, you're looking after yourself. You're putting yourself first. You're taking care of number one. And you're deciding not to move forward on this relationship with this person. I feel like you're closing yourself off and you're not letting this person have access to you. Okay, Knight of Wands, you're not letting this person have access to you. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at your person's energy. Spirit, angels and guides, please show us the energy of the person that Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love. Spirit, angels and guides, please show us the energy of the person that Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love. There's a Hermit card in reverse. You could be dealing with a Virgo because this is Major Arcana for Virgo. Okay, so if this person has been quiet with you, if they've been distant with you, I see them popping back into your life. This is the Knight of Wands energy. Okay, so someone who stopped talking to you or someone who withdrew their energy from you is coming back around. Okay, it's like they're breaking the silence here. Because I, I feel with the Eight of Wands in reverse, that's the no communication that you've been experiencing with this person and look at this in the hermit card there's the star in the lantern and you're the star card you're the star in in the tarot so i feel like this person is guided to break the silence here with you tell me more about this person's energy Oh my goodness, look at this, Ace of Cups. So this person is breaking the silence to have a new beginning, an emotional new beginning here with you. Maybe they're coming in to apologize with the Ace of Cups. Hmm. But this is emotional new beginnings. This is like a new offer. A new offer in love. Okay. All right. 
spirit angels and guides tell us more about this person's energy oh the queen of swords the queen of swords I definitely feel like this person's coming in to talk to you with the Queen of Swords. But you, this person feels like you have set some kind of boundary with them. Hmm. Because it's the same sword here in your energy, see? This is you. They feel that you have detached or you are detaching. That you're cutting yourself free. And now this person wants to have a new beginning with you. Now they want to come in and apologize. All right, tell us more about this person's energy. Tell us more about this person's energy towards the moon. Major arcana for Pisces, but I also see this as Cancerian energy. The moon. This person's afraid of you walking away from them there's this this moon to me is representing this person's fears or insecurities here yeah there's a lot of fears and insecurities coming up to the surface for this person um sorry some cards Oh, well, so how's that your problem? That's their own problem. And look at this. We've got the full moon in Aquarius. So this person feels um, that you are letting go and that you've detached, that you're releasing this person. Okay, there's a fear of you letting go and releasing them for good. But I feel like with the moon card, this person is still attached to you. All right, tell us more, spirit. Tell us more. They're still attached to you. Um, but with the moon card, the moon speaks to shadows. So they're attached to you for all the wrong reasons. Okay, they're not attached to you for the right reasons. They're attached to you for the wrong reasons. And I almost feel like this Ace of Cups is like this person clutching at straws. The Knight of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, like I said, the Knight of Pentacles, this is an energy of someone who is preparing to... Uh, give you an apology, send you a message of an apology. They're, they're preparing and planning to reach out to you. Maybe even asking for your forgiveness. Mm. Well, good luck with that because I don't feel Aquarius is going to be interested yeah you're not look at this can't make it up there's a star card in reverse yeah with the three of swords in reverse i can't show you the cards because the there's nudity in the star card but yeah i feel like saying good luck to this person i don't feel like their attempts in reaching out to you is going to work because You've lost hope in this connection. This person has let you down. 
they've disappointed you here with the three of swords in reverse and you're trying to heal yourself from this connection okay tell me more spirit tell me more tell me more tell me more page of pentacles in reverse wow Okay, so I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you here, Aquarius. I do see that there is an opportunity for this person to reach out to you. But there are some fears surrounding this person reaching out. And honestly, it's because they know that maybe here with the Queen of Swords that you are going to give them a mouthful mm. there's a sense of with the page of pentacles there's a sense of procrastination coming in with this person especially with the moon card here okay there's some doubts and fears surrounding this offer Can we clarify the page of pentacles in reverse? Why is the page of pentacles in reverse here in this person's energy? Why is the page of pentacles here in reverse for this person's energy towards Aquarius? Page of pentacles in reverse. Tell us more. Queen of cups. Yeah, because what can they offer you? What can they offer you? I feel like what they're offering you is very little in regards to what you're offering them with the Queen of Cups. This person knows that you're looking for something more with the Queen of Cups. They know that you're looking for something more emotional. Something that they can't give you. Because mm, you're coming in as two queens now and the empress. You know, it's, it's on a completely different page to the page of pentacles. Why is the knight of pentacles here in this person's energy? Why is the knight of pentacles here in this person's energy? Why is the knight of pentacles here? Yeah, the ten of pentacles. I feel like this person that you're dealing with, Aquarius, is focused on creating maybe financial stability for themselves. They're kind of focused on building a business or building a career. Maybe this person is investing their pentacles into real estate that's a very specific message i feel like they're committed to their business that's what i'm getting here mm. All right, let's have a look at this Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups in this person's energy towards Aquarius. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Justice. Oh, okay, radio. Major Arcana for Libra. Okay, so they're coming in with some kind of apology because they know they've done the wrong thing by you. 
they know um, that you've, you know, you've been receiving the raw end of the deal. They know that. They know that. And so they feel like an apology is their way of perhaps redeeming themselves. But I don't think you're having it any, either way. No. Why is the hermit in reverse here for this person's energy with regards to Aquarius? Why is the hermit card here in reverse? Tell us more, spirit. Tell us more. Yeah. <laughs> the empress. That's right. That's right. Because you are the empress. You've got the empress in your energy. And this person is looking for forgiveness from you. Okay. They're breaking the silence because they're looking for your forgiveness. They're looking for you to forgive them um, for ghosting you, for withdrawing their energy from you. Um, maybe they're looking to heal the connection between the both of you and with the Justice card to bring in some kind of balance back to your connection. But honestly, I, I just feel with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, this person ultimately at the end of the day, they, they can't give you what you're looking for. Mm. Because I don't feel like they're open to, I don't feel like they're open to uh, something serious. I don't. All right, uh, let's take a look at this person's intentions. What What is this person's intentions? What, what is this person's intentions when it comes to Aquarius? What do they intend here with Aquarius? Tell us more, spirit, tell us more. What is this person's intentions when it comes to Aquarius? What is this person's intentions when it comes to Aquarius? Yeah, I feel like, sorry, um, Aquarius, with the moon and the Knight of Pentacles, I do feel that this person fears commitment here. Okay, they do fear commitment. Because I was like, this person has fears. Fears are coming up to the surface. All right, what is this person's intentions when it comes to Aquarius? Sorry, Aquarius. The Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. Which is telling me here that this person doesn't have very real in and yeah they don't have very re they don't have real intentions here to invest into your relationship. Yeah, they, they, they don't have intentions to invest into anything serious here with you. Tell me more. Tell me more. King of Cups. Tell me more about this person's intentions. Tell me more. I, I, yeah, the King of Cups, he's the King of Love. But I don't feel like this person has the intentions to invest romantically into this connection. He's speaking to romance. This is, they have no intentions to invest romantically or emotionally into the connection. See, you, you're the Queen of Cups. 
you're coming in with the Queen of Cups. They're coming in with the King of Cups, but with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So they know what you want. They just can't give you what you want. All right, what have we got? Oh, too many cards. I'm just going to pull one more. Yeah, look at that. Seven of Swords. I don't like it, Aquarius. I'm really sorry. We've got the Three of Pentacles. So the Three, the three of Pentacles tells me here that this person wants to talk to you they want to connect with you but they don't have genuine intentions here with the seven of swords and the king of cups okay their intentions with regards to your connection your situation your relationship are not genuine no then they're not genuine but you know what you already know that though that's why you've cut the cord that's why you're cutting the cord I'm just going to grab some last parting messages for you, Aquarius. Spirit angels and guides. I feel like that's what this full moon in Aquarius is highlighting to you. So Spirit, what last parting messages do you have for Aquarius? The horse. There you are. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. But I feel like this has given me chariot vibes. So I feel like you're determined to move forward. You're determined to ride solo or ride single for now with this horse energy. I feel that you're determined to break free or free yourself from this connection. That's what it feels like to me. What else? The spirit? Yeah, the scorpion. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be connecting to a fire sign. Yeah, I don't feel like you're too happy with this person. Okay, I feel that you, you've got like a def your defenses are up with this person. And it's kind of like if this person was to approach you, I feel like you would be, you would be on the attack, you know, but yeah, you're not, you're not happy about this. You're not happy. I can't even get the words out. I'm sorry. It's, we're in a Mercury shadow, Mercury retrograde shadow period, and it's already affecting my the way I'm communicating, it's horrible. I actually don't like that feeling. But I think you know what I mean. All right, one more card, the buffalo. Yeah, this this buffalo is you kind of just like standing your ground. You know, you're not budging. You're not you're not budging on what it is that you want. Um Yeah, I don't feel like you're changing your mind. You are not changing your mind. You will not be persuaded by this person. I feel like your mind is set. Your mind is fixed. You know how you feel. You're working on yourself. And I just feel like you're breaking free from this connection. And I don't feel like you're budging on that. It's like in the background of the buffalo, it kind of feels like this lightning strike feels like the awakening that you've had. And it's, you know, when, the, when you have that epiphany and when you have that awakening, you can't unsee it. You can't unfeel it. And it's like, Rosa, how do I go back? I can't pretend that I'm not feeling this way. Yeah, you can't pretend. That's why I feel like, no, you're, you're set. Your mind is made up and... You just want to move on and you want to move forward here. So there's your reading, Aquarius. I do hope that was helpful and insightful. Um, sorry for the mishmash of words towards the end there. Uh, I think I'm just tired. It's the end of the day. 
Uh, let me know how you feel about this reading guys and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you Aquarius.